right, we're going to talk about two of the primary ways to put a keg over your head. There's lots of options. The two that I have seen work the best are the two that I'm about to show you. But as always with Strongman, try a couple different things, see what works best for you. Also, I recommend trying both hands or both sides to see which one is more comfortable. It's not always dominant or non-dominant hand, like I'm going to demonstrate here. So the first method is going to be what we call the flip. Um, we're going to tip, I tip to my dominant hand. Um, other hand goes directly across from that, down the bottom of the keg. I'm going to keep this straight pick, stand like a deadlift, and then sit. My hand is going to come in towards my hip crease, and then my other hand stays on this handle. What I'm doing here is loading my hips. So I don't want to sit down, that's going to load my quads, which is going to be more knee extension. I want more hip extension. So I'm going to sit back in my hips, come over top of it, use that hip drive to come up overhead. So the way that it looks when I put the whole thing together is going to be tip, stand and lap, come over it, and extend up. The other option is going to involve stopping on your shoulder. So for this one, I prefer to tip to my non-dominant hand. Again, doesn't matter. Try both. See what feels better. So I'm going to tip to non-dominant hand. Pick is the same. So I'm going to go other hand directly across and on the bottom. Stand and sit. When I sit, I'm cranking the keg in. So I want this hand to be in close to my hip. The other one's going to be out in front. I don't want to end up here with my hands reversed. If I'm here, I can't go anywhere with the keg. Once I crank it in, now when I come up with my hip extension, the keg's going to sit right in my hip crease. And then from there, I can push press, strict press, whatever I need to do to get the keg overhead. So again, for this one, I'm going to tip to the side, sit, or uh, stand, lap it with this crank, and then come up to the shoulder and press out overhead. So those are the two primary ways that we teach here. Try them out, try both sides, see what works better. And uh, also know that what works at lighter weights might not work at heavier weights and vice versa. So it's always good to kind of have a few different options in your tool bag. If you have questions, post them in the comments and I will be happy to answer them. All right, go lift kegs.